Yeah, so uh, something about uh, RDTM, like I mean RDTM, uh, sorry for the technical issues. Uh, coming back to the RDTM thing, uh, it was founded in 1995, located at Madrid, Spain, and the technical expertise, what they have is uh, uh, electromechanical designing, control and automation, servo control of drives, instrumentation, and data acquisition systems. They carry out special uh, civil works, turnkey projects, and uh, they are into building up of crash test facilities, uh, launchers, sleds, uh, seat built anchorages, and testing rigs. As of now, they have built uh, 21 uh, crash test facilities, 30 plus launchers for pedestrian and uh, interior testing, 14 plus sleds, 57 test rigs, and two seat belt anchorages. Yeah, just to uh, make you acquainted with the frontal impact test, I'm playing a video. Robin, audio is not there, Robin. Yeah, then we move on to uh, different types of crash tests, like I mean, what RDTM can design in terms of uh, uh, different types of crash tests. I mean, uh, for frontal, side, rear impact, and ro low, uh, low speed rollover, and car to car tests, and other types of tests, including integrated safety tests for pre impact brake and autonomous emergency brake test. The regulations that RDTM adheres to in terms of uh, legal requirements and standards is like it adheres to UN AC regulations, which is for frontal offset, side rear impact tests, and FMVSS, Federal Motors Vehicle Safety Standards for safety requirements for design, construction, performance, and durability of vehicles, automobile safety related component systems, and design features. Control of vehicle safety. Previous slide, slide, please. Previous slide. Previous slide. Previous slide. Yeah. So, uh, GTR regulations for approval of vehicle safety and environmental aspects. Regulations of the European Union for approval of motor vehicles with respect to emission. GB is the basis for testing products that need certification and AIS, Automotive Industry Standards. Apart from this, other regulations like, I mean, new car assessment programs like Euro NCAP, US NCAP, Australian NCAP, Japan NCAP, Korea NCAP, China NCAP, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, and RCAR, which is an International Association of Automotive Research Centers. Depending on the requirement, RDTM would uh, design uh, and install uh, crash test facilities. Uh, it can, it could be a single track layout or a multi track track layout. Here you you see the single track layout. This is the multi track layout. And coming to what does a crash test Facility consists electric motor, deceleration test sled to test seats, door locks, seat belts, luggage retention, movable and deformable, deformable barriers, onboard data acquisition system to acquire data, instrumented crash test dummies, vehicle preparation room, high speed cameras, lighting system, crash sensors, etc. So then coming on to uh, the motor that propels the test rig. Here, Aditem uses uh, AC uh, motors, and this is the motor and the drive. I would like to explain the advantages of uh, AC motor or DC motor. 
well uh, it can generate ac motor can generate enough torque at low speed it is maintenance free when you compare it with dc motor because dc motor emits carbon dust and the maintenance is more and uh, the cost of running is low i mean less reactive part of the network less harmonics to the power line much less voltage drops and if you see the recent industry standard trends ac motors are in constant evolution and the ac motors increase flexibility which results in fast torque response and speed accuracy increased reliability due to the fact that uh, dc motors i mean uh, the pressures and commuter commutators wear down and need regular servicing IDTM has uh, come out with a recent uh, introduction, which is known as double loop control strategy. What we can do this with this strategy is the system, the control system anticipates the torque that drive system will need in the very next moment of propulsion. What is the advantage? It makes the drive control response must much faster and accurate. This results in accuracy in release speed results. And when it comes to release speed results and speed accuracies, I'd like to, I mean, uh, convey that there are three levels of speed accuracies. One is plus or minus 0 0.10 kilometer per hour for vehicle speeds below 65 kilometers per hour, and plus or minus 0 0.15 kilometers per hour for vehicle speed ranges from 65 to 90 kilometers per hour, and uh, plus or minus 0 0.2 kilometers per hour for vehicle speed ranges from 90 to 120 kilometers per hour. In a normal distribution, it is previous slide, please. Uh, the, the distribution is 84% uh, of uh, test cases will be inside plus or minus 0 0.1 kilometers per hour deviation. Mm -hmm. Typically, I'm uh, explaining the uh, components of the test trick, uh, what it contains. I mean, what does the crash test facility contain of? It contains of yeah please go ahead ac motor frame diamond dynamic tensioning station return pulley and static tensioning station return pulley system traction pulley systems etc now uh, i'll try to explain the uh, been, uh, importance of uh, the rail and trolley here in this case additive designs and develops nano rail and nano trolley where the trolley width would be 45 mm, the front and rear parts of the nano trolley serve as towing cable links, closing the cable loop, and the vehicle could be released at any point of the track. It can be easily, uh, the cable can be easily uh, replaced and it can be a smooth transition of a vehicle movement. And when you come to the rail, the width is 65 mm with minimum occultation, that means uh, your visibility is more. The crevice width is 25 mm, and uh, these rails can go up to accommodating 25 ton vehicles too. Okay, the advantages of uh, nano rail and trolley. The narrow rail, it, it as I said, it increases the view of the vehicle, and uh, because of the uh, narrow trolley, uh, the cable can be easily I've been uh, changed and replaced, and it's a heavy duty rail and uh, reliable and low maintenance, and uh, the vehicle could re be released very softly. Yeah. As I explained about the uh, autom autonomous emergency brake test and pre-impact brake test, uh, here you can see uh, the pre-impact uh, brake test uh, where the vehicle will be decelerated with an additional secondary trolley at the back of the vehicle. The secondary trolley will decelerate the vehicle up to the impact barrier and a new control strategy will be used. As I said, the double loop control strategy that will be used on the control system. Then we move on to impact barriers. Uh, there, I mean, IDTM can provide uh, a different types of impact barriers. It can be fixed impact barrier, movable impact barrier, removable impact barrier, turning impact barrier, 
mobile impact barrier here actually this depends on i mean uh, i will uh, i can just explain that the impact barrier block weight would be somewhere around 90 tons the dimensions would be 4.5 into 4.5 into 3 meters and uh, it is used for four crest, uh, crash test positions like uh, track center offset center offset left and behind. And uh, I mean, uh, depending on uh, this thing, the turning impact barrier, it all it has four faces. It weighs up to 125 tons with the dimensions of five into five into three meters. And uh, it goes on. I mean, the details can be shared with you depending upon your interest. Due to the lack of time, I'm just cruising in. And uh, when it comes to auxiliary equipments that Aditium can provide. Uh, like radio link cabinet, onboard brake and radio link, automatic recovering device, mobile deformable barriers and the barriers. And then I move on to the next uh, uh, point of uh, agenda, which is a A launcher for impact testing. What are the standards that Aditium adheres to in terms of pedestrian guided head, body block, head form pendulum, free flight head form, ejection mitigation? Is pedestrian, it uh, complies to ECE R127 European Directive 78-2009-631-2009 and it goes on, uh, I mean, uh, explaining about the standards uh, which they are there to. These are the propellers. Uh, which would be used with the e launchers. The e launcher 1205, 935, 1235, 1750, and 0705. The specifications of propellers e launcher 1205 can go up to a maximum speed of 12.5 meters per second, which is 45 kilometers per hour. Maximum impactor weight, three flight would be 6.5. 8 kgs energy is 1200 joules and uh, 0935 goes up to 9 meters per second and the maximum impact weight is 35 kgs impact weight guided is 50 kgs energy is 3000 joules and the launcher 1 2 3 goes up to a maximum speed of uh, 12 meters per second 43 kilometers per hour 35 kg free flight impact weight and uh, guided 100 kgs and uh, energy is 3700 joules. E launcher 1750 uh, goes up to 17 meters per second, 61 kilometers per hour, and uh, maximum impact weight free flight 50 kgs. Maximum impact weight guided is 130 kgs, energy 5200 joules. And E launcher 705 goes up to 7 meters per second, 24 hour, and with 5 kg impact weight free flight and energy is. 500 joules. Here I would like to play a video uh, which shows the accuracy and repeatability of the system. The launch speed is set to 11.100. Yeah, you can see the launch uh, speed here, 11.104. Retraction of the launcher. The launch speed is set at 11.100. Basically, this is to show that uh, how accurate and uh, I mean, uh, in terms of repeatability, the rig could be. Okay. 
move on to the next slide. Here you can see the impact systems. This is a misuse test module. Headform pendulum. Ejection mitigation. Leg form modules. Guided headform module. The body block. Head form. This is advanced uh, pedestrian leg impact leg form. Upper leg form. The knee module. Here uh, is a video of APLI, Advanced Pedestrian Leg Impact Testing. Yeah, just to give you a feel of the launching. On to the next slide. Yeah, now something about the launcher and the motorized movements in terms of X, Y, Z directions. The standard motorized movements like longitudinal motorized regulation, I mean, uh, zero to 2000 mm, lateral minus 1000 to 1000 mm, height 500 to 3100 mm, launcher normal angle is minus 15 to 90 degrees, tower rotation, which could be optional 360 degrees. The linear accuracy is plus or minus 0.1 mm. Angular accuracy plus or minus 0.05 degrees. The type of motors used, closed loop servo motors, positioning sensors, optical absolute encoder, and other ranges can be under request. See the motorized movements here. The motorized motor, uh, linear motor is used in this uh, launcher system. What is the advantage of linear system? I would like to explain. It is as good as a regular synchronous servo motor, but with magnets of stator installed along the linear path. Uh, conventionally, you see like I mean, uh, uh, servo motors uh, here it is a linear motor the advantage is that, like I mean, the system allows a very high dynamic control with unique position control accuracy this uh, technology is very suitable for impact test application and uh, one more video explaining you the body block testing where you can see the launcher the propeller the body block speed sensors Moving on to the next slide, the pedestrian head form test. Here it shows the impact speed and also the angle, which is set 45 degrees. This is a guided head form test. Any moment in time, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, I mean put a uh, put your query into the chat box so that our uh, moderators can keep answering you. And if it is an elaborate explanation, I mean uh, we can get back to you over a mail or uh, at the end of the session. And uh, coming to the auxiliary equipments uh, pertaining to impact test, you have this uh, this 3D measurement system, the lighting. The automatic recovering device here you could have seen in one of the video how the i've been uh, leg form is recovered with this frame and we have speed meter and high speed video cameras some of the uh, customers uh, who are already using uh, these uh, launcher systems uh, like autolive france antolin uh, in india it is natrip and uh, maruti suzuki elisman from germany for asia fiat uh, Toyota Gosei from US, uh, Renault and uh, Toyota Boshuka from China, Valio, Lear. These are some of the customers who are already using e-launches. Coming to our next topic, uh, which is crash simulation testing solutions, the SLED. The, the standards that Aditium adheres to is uh, like, I mean, ACE R16, R17, R80, R44, R129, R100 Rev2 and FMVSS213. The 
population testing uh, and the propulsion system and the deceleration system like i mean propulsion system uh, comprises of electric drive and uh, bungee cords with adaptive propulsion system and deceleration is done by bending bars and polyurethane tubes this is the electrical propulsion system which comprises of uh, electric motor and the and, uh, frequency converter, motor frame, traction pulley system. The bungee cords propulsion system, uh, which is uh, considered as very accurate, accurate because of its uh, final velocity, where the standard deviation is plus or minus 0.2 kilometers per hour. The bungee cords will accumulate the energy, returning the necessary acceleration to the sled, and uh, they work on uh, the linear zone of its curve, and the sled is free of propulsion before the impact. Depending on the energy required, uh, a different number of bungee cords are used. As you can see in the uh, picture, uh, the total mass, impact velocity, and the available propulsion distance would be considered too. This graph explains the energy and the track length when you use the different bungee cords. Here in this graph, uh, it shows like uh, five to eight bungee cords are used, and uh, you can see the energy uh, when five bungee cords are used, which is, uh, which is uh, uh, 10,000 joules, and the distance at uh, track length is, uh, I mean, uh, 30 meters. Likewise, it goes on for six, seven, and eight bungee cords. Coming to the sled. sled. As you can see, tensions uh, for uh, loads. Actually, the bottom uh, picture uh, shows that uh, I mean you can uh, mount uh, different specimens because it has a uh, different uh, uh, matrix threaded holes for attaching uh, specimens. Coming to the civil work, it's a very simple uh, interface that uh, needed. All is needed is a set of bolts and the beams uh, to install the beam supplied by Aditium. The sled guidance along the track will consist of two parallel steel rails. Uh, unfortunately, I am unable to move my mouse because the presentation is done uh, from elsewhere because of the technical uh, issues. Okay, it's a very uh, simple mechanism where you have to align the uh, main rails and uh, just sled the deceleration system, as I said. Uh, uh, is done by two methods. One is polyurethane tubes and the bending bars. Here you can see the polyurethane tubes inside the steel, uh, I mean, uh, steel tubes, and you can also see, uh, like, I mean, uh, the I mean, knobs and the shafts. And on to my, yeah, polyurethane tubes. The description, I mean, uh, uh, here you can see olive shaped knobs. And uh, these are the polyurethane tubes, and these are the shafts, and uh, these shafts get into uh, the steel tubes. Several po uh, parallel polyurethane tubes inside steel cases and a uh, set of shafts. One PU tube is required for each 200 plus or minus 40 kg of payload. Polyurethane tubes, I mean, they are reusable and uh, estimated life is uh, 50 to 100 tests per unit, and they are, uh, I mean, very easy to remove. Uh, features of polyurethane tubes like uh, uh, maximum penetration is 800 mm, deceleration will be 60 g, maximum payload depending on number of PO tubes, short time is 130 meters per second, and the modulation and different lengths of shafts depends on different lengths of PO tubes, combination of different hardness on the PO tubes, three standard types of PO tubes in the same test, shapes and diameters of the olive knobs at the end of the set of shafts. Uh, the deceleration system consists of a PU detection sensor and a hydraulic actuator for decoupling with hydraulic power unit. And coming to bending bar deceleration system, the description, it has steel nose against bending bars. Bending bars will absorb the kinetic energy of the sled. The number of bars used and its geometrical arrangement determines the brake pulse obtained. The penetration maximum would be 1200 mm, maximum deceleration will be 60 g, payload 2000 kgs, short time 150 meters per second, uh, and uh, bending bar 
pulse modulation depends upon number of bars, position, material of bars, different height of the bars, different size of the bars, and combination of different bars in the same position and different types of noses. Aditem can provide manual and automatic control systems. Uh, this is the uh, control system cabin, and the red one in between is the manual control panel. And these are the auxiliary equipments for uh, crash simulation, the lighting system, the data acquisition system, which can be like 16 to 32 channels, and the seat fixture, the high speed camera, side fixture, and speed meter with receiver unit. I now move on to electrical seat belt anchorage where it shows a typical uh, I mean test rig uh, with the uh, reaction frames, mobile saddle, overall bed frame, fixed cross beams, mobile cross member, actuators, vertical position motor and actuator carrier. Again, the regulations that uh, Aditium adheres to is ECE R14, FMVSS210, FMVSS207, Isofix ECE R14, Isofix FMVSS225, GB141672013, ADR34, and TRIAS. The specifications like I mean, the frame can accommodate 3, 6, 9 to 12 actuators. The dynamic load would be up to 50 kN. Actuator stroke up to 800 mm, loading speed up to 500 meters millimeters per second uh, for electrical actuators and uh, 2000 mm per second uh, for hydraulic actuators and real time controller with specific ECE R14 advanced control strategies and uh, optional remote operation from Wi Fi touchpad to allow easier and convenient tests. This is the reaction frame. Here you can see the motor, uh, the I mean facility to accommodate the actuators. Uh, and, uh, the standard size of the, size of the reaction frame would be 2.125 into 3.120 into 2.700 mm. Others can be accommodated under request. The regulation range in terms of maximum height, uh, vertical positioning and uh, lateral separation uh, is uh, I mean. lower stiff for C-beam, fixing bracket, etc. The bed frame, as I said, mobile cross member, fixed cross member, 12 adjustable legs, bed plate, embedded wheels for mobile cross member. The servo electrical actuators, again, 3, 6, 9, 12 actuators, full servo electrical performance, force range up to 50 kN, Actuator stroke 800 mm, loading speed 500 mm per second with electrical actuators, up to 2000 mm per second with uh, hydraulic actuators. Life inductance in power line, reduced peak currents, high tracking quality, infinite life for this type of bench. So there is no oil leaks, no leak, uh, uh, no oil leaks, and maintain. And these are maintenance free units. This is the inter instrumentation, and the load cell, for, load cell with cover and uh, the displacement sensor. Yeah, next slide, please. The control system. This is of, again 3, 6, 9, 12 channels. Uh, digital controller uh, for force position or speed. Real time controller with specific ECE R14 advanced control strategies. Remote operation from Wi Fi touchpad. Trigger output for high speed cameras and data acquisition with 16 bit resolution. This is the control system. And the, the advantages of uh, electrical seat belt anchorage test system, state of art performance and accuracy. It is a very, uh, and the cost to maintain is very low, uh, much predictable behavior. There's no effect of temperature and humidity. It's a cleaner solution, less acoustic noise, easier test setup with straightforward displacement control, and the wirings are tidy along with the connections. The auxiliary systems, what IDTM can provide uh, for ESBA, synthetic chains, abdominal shapes 254 mm, abdominal shapes 406 mm, static force application device 1 and uh, 2, and uh, child resistant fixture, B pillar, and chest shapes. 
Uh, this slide gives you a overview of uh, what uh, are the crash regulations pertaining to Europe, United Nations, USA, China and India in terms of instrument panels, side windows, interior, everything. This slide comprises, comprises of all the crash uh, regulations that is followed by Europe, UN, USA and China and India. What uh, we uh, I mean, uh, went through this presentation is uh, like, I mean, we understood crash test solutions, frontal side rear impacts and impact test solutions with e-launchers, propellers, impact modules, crash simulation solutions, which includes propulsion, deceleration and sled, sealed bit uh, uh, anchor solutions, auxiliary systems that at a time can provide uh, for crash impact, crash simulation and uh, seat belt anchorages. Standards and regulations that uh, ADTM follows in terms of crash impact, crash simulation and uh, seat belt anchorages. So uh, there are a lot many things to cover. I mean, we can uh, I mean, you can uh, have your queries uh, mailed to us also so that we can dwell upon uh, uh, in detail. Uh, there are a lot many things uh, I mean, uh, because of the time constraints, we have uh, not left out certain things like I mean, a filming pit and uh, I mean the roof crash and side crash and other things. So uh, if you have any uh, queries uh, which for which you require elaborate explanation and details, you can uh, mail us uh, to info at adamstech.in so that we could get back to you and uh, like I mean. Uh, at the end of this session, you can uh, come out with your question and answers where our uh, I mean, moderators will try to answer. Uh, so again, sorry for the technical issues and uh, uh, thanks for bearing with me. And uh, now I uh, pass it on to my colleague, Mr. Raghu, who will carry through the presentation related to crash testing. Uh, once again, uh, once again I would like to thank you, thank you uh, for, uh, your for your presentation, sir. sir. So this is Raghu here. Uh, so far, we have covered the complete uh, crash test facility, which is offered by Adams from ADTM. So now we are going to see what Adams can offer a data acquisition system and sensors for the crash testing applications from different principles, DTS, MG sensor and Dytron instruments. First, I will start with the uh, DTS. It's a diversified technical systems. It is located in uh, Seal Beach, California, USA. It was founded in the year of 1990. It was started by three engineers with crash test engineering background. DTS is specialized in manufacturing the miniature ruggedized data equation systems, data logger and sensors. So DTS is offering a data acquisition solutions for typical applications and shock levels. For NVH application, DTS is offering a data acquisition solution with a sampling of 5 kilo samples per second and shock rated to 20 G. For the vehicle safety application, DTS is offering a data acquisition solution with a sampling of 20 kilo samples per second and shock rated to 100 G. For the motorsport application with a sampling of 20 kilo samples per second and shock rated to 500 g for the research and acoustic applications dts is offering a data equation system with a sampling of 100 kilo samples per second and shock rated to 5000 g and for the blast protection testing dts is offering a data acquisition a solution of one mega samples per second and shock rated to 25000 g for the ordnance and ballistics application DTS is offering a data acquisition solutions with a sampling of one mega samples per second and shock rated to one lakh G. So, uh, before uh, getting into the subject, I just want to show you uh, some videos of Euro and cap crash testing for a better understanding.
hope you have understand uh, so how the crash testing is done uh, with the Euro NCAP uh, regulations. So uh, DTS data acquisition uh, solution for automotive while choosing a data acquisition system for the crash applications. So it should be rugged enough to withstand the shock during the crash applications and it should be highly configurable for the varieties of applications. It should support high channel test requirements and it should integrate with crash test dummies or anthropomorphic test devices and it should support the extensive sensor supports. It means the varieties of sensors it can support and the compact instrumentation it should be uh, compact for the instrumentation it fits into the onboard smaller vehicles without altering the target weights or cg the synchronization so the data synchronization with the different systems such as high speed cameras and triggering devices and power and communications so the software so software should be uh, easy to access for view the uh, data and test setup and data export. So how the DTS has overcome with the solutions? So DTS is offering a complete uh, a compact DTS data equation system and sensor. It is miniature and rugged and standalone system. It has the highly configurable features and according to the applications. So it's a standalone system which includes power and trigger and the communication. Synchronization so with different test devices and store in place reliability so that the data can directly write to the flash memory. So in the me dash solution. So DTS is offering a varieties of in the dash solution for the complete family of ATT and pedestrian safety testing. So in the left side picture, you'll have a clear idea about the traditional DAS and in the dash. So without in the dash, how the traditional DAS looks and the next image shows you the in the dash solution. So embedding the data acquisition into the dummy, which improves the data quality and reduce the setup time and eliminating the trialing cables. So the innovative DTS data acquisition dummy solutions is the leading way for the automotive safety testing. We have to find the right data acquisition system in dummy solutions. So DTS is offering a three different data acquisition solutions. So such as uh, Slice 6 and Slice Nano and t dash G5. So Slice 6 is the newest generation of in dummy dash for ATDs such as Thor, Hybrid 3 and Worldset. So Thor is a test device for human occupant restraints and Hybrid 3 for the frontal impact and Worldset. It's a worldwide harmonized side impact dummies. The ultra miniature data acquisition system, the Slice 6, which reduces in dummy cabling and connectors up to 75% and the Slice Nano is the top selling in dummy DAS solution for the worldwide and it's an ultra miniature small data equation system specially designed for the ATDs and for the world sit and hybrid 3 and for the pedestrians. So pedestrian headphones and flex PLA headphones. So next T dash G5 is the original in dummy DAS solution and specially designed for world sit and hybrid 3. It's a small and miniature and 32 channel system which can directly fit to the dummy to the onboard. So DTS is offering a complete line of in dummy and embedded support the complete line of ATDs such as frontal impact and side impact and rear impact and children's and aerospace and military applications and pedestrian safety testing. So the most common dummies which is used in frontal impact that is Star and Hybrid 3. So to understand the occupant kinematics and injury mechanism, to evaluate the seat belt and airbag aggressiveness, to assess the performance of vehicle safety system, to design mitigate the injuries in frontal impact, to assess the whole body trauma in variety of occupant restraint environments, and uh, for the side impact, most common dummies which is used in worldwide, uh, that's a world sit and euro sit and euro sit 2 rib extension. 
So this is quite different from the frontal impact. Uh, the collision is different from the frontal impact because of the less vehicle structure to protect the occupants with more significant forces traveling through pelvis, shoulders, head from one side to other side. This is mainly to assess the injury risk in side impact and evaluating the occupant vehicle interaction to mirror the human response in side impact scenarios. The rear impact, it's a biophilic uh, rear impact dummy. So to measure how the body is responding to relatively uh, low speed rear impact and to test the effectiveness of the seat headrest in order to preventing the extensive motion of head and neck to uh, result into the whiplash injuries. For the children, uh, for uh, most common, it's a child restraints. And uh, for the aerospace and uh, military, so DTS is also offering an in dummy dash solution for the aerospace and military applications. For the pedestrian and head and leg forms, DTS is offering a miniature data acquisition system to, in order to measure the pedestrian safety testings. So slice six. So it's a miniature rugged standalone data acquisition system. The maximum sampling it can go up to 400 kilo samples per second per channel and it is programmable which consists of a six channel per module and it is it can be daisy chained up to hundreds of channels and shock rated up to 500G. It has the inbuilt fit 16 GB flash memory and it suits for the application of in dummy so such as star, world seed and hybrid tree and it supports uh, different regulations and standards such as NHT, SA and Euro NCAP configurations and it meets the SAC standards J211 and ISO standards 6487 to meet the data acquisition requirements and it also supports varieties of sensors such as full bridge, half bridge and strain gauges, voltage inputs and thermocouples. So the slice 6 has a unique functions so such as where you can directly mount the load cell to the landing pad and the six degrees of freedom sensor. Also, you can mount it to the uh, slice six and it has the sensor interface so that you can connect linear axle and triaxle sensors directly. And the integration. So I just want to give you a small uh, example with Thor in dummy dash with the uh, slice six. So slice six integrated in Thor dummy. So it's the most advanced ATD for Euro NCAP automotive safety testing and it should support high channel test requirements. And the left side of uh, the picture, it shows you the integrated in dummy dash up to 150 channels. So where uh, the slice 6 mounted on the head and thorax and femur and lower legs. So embedding the data acquisition and sensors in dummy, which reduces the setup time and improves the data quality and eliminate the heavy trailing cables. So uh, this is the typical integration. Uh, the slice six is integrated with the Thor dummy uh, 156 channel uh, based on the US regulations NSGSA as a 50 male uh, occupant. And uh, the Thor in dummy dash with the slice six. So the left side picture shows you Thor without in dummy dash and the right side picture shows you the Thor with in dummy dash. The slice nano. So it's a miniature rugged and standalone data acquisition system. The maximum sampling you can go up to 500 kilo samples per second per channel and it's programmable. So it starts with three channel and maximum you can go for 24 channels per stack and it is daisy chain up to hundreds of channels and shock rated to 500 G and 16 GB non volatile flash memory specially designed for in dummy dash for the world set and hybrid three Q series and P series uh, for the pedestrian safety testing such as pedestrian head and PLA leg forms and it meets the SAC standards J211 and ISO 6487 and NHT, SA and FA data acquisition requirements. It should support uh, different type of sensors such as bridge, accelerometers, IEP and strain gauges, load cells and mem strip and temperature sensors. So this is a hybrid three in dummy dash with the slice nano. So DTS is offering a multiple in dummy dash solution for the frontal impact such as Thor and hybrid. So here I can show you the hybrid three uh, dummy with the slice nano integration. So uh, integration with in dummy dash, which gives you the complete turnkey solution to design, maintain the 
proper MOS and CG. So embedding the hybrid three dummy DAS, which eliminates the heavy trailing cables and significantly reduce the test setup time and improves the repeatability and data quality. So DTS is also offering a hybrid endemic kits and integration service plus worldwide technical support. So here I can show you a typical integration of Slice Nano in Hybrid 3 dummy. So the left side pictures where uh, the thoriac area, so uh, the Slice Nano is mounted and the right side picture, so it, it will give you the clear uh, view where the data acquisition should be mounted in Hybrid 3 dummies. It's an advanced pedestrian leg form impactor with a Slice Nano. So to improve the safety and survivability of a pedestrian involved in accidents. So integration of Slice Nano and sensors which improves the safety and survivability of a pedestrian. The standard configuration of new APLA is it's a 18 channel Slice Nano data acquisition and 6DX Pro sensor which is mounted on the upper body and a single axis ARS Pro that is mounted on the knee. Next, Slice Flex PLA leg form with Slice Nano. So a Slice Flexible Pedestrian Leg Form Impactor which integrates with ultra small Slice Nano data equation system for the cable free pedestrian safety testing by eliminating all the trailing cables which makes you more flexible, reliable and you'll get the data repeatability. It has a unique, uh, a quick charging super capacitor that ensures the reliable data capture and storage so in this uh, flex PLA, so where the data will write directly to the flash memory by eliminating the tiling cables and the slice pedestrian headphones with a slice nano. So uh, a slice pedestrian headphone which integrates with the slice nano data acquisition and sensors for the cable free pedestrian safety testing solutions by eliminating all the tiling cables which makes you more flexible, reliable and repeatability. And here also the data will directly write to the flash memory. Free motion at foam with a slice nano. So where the slice nano integrates with the FMH for the cable free automotive safety testing. So by eliminating the trialing cables, which makes you more flexible, reliable and repeatability is the complete turnkey. With a slice nano integrations. Next, the world set. It's a worldwide harmonized side impact dummy in in dummy dash with a T dash G5. So T dash G5, it's a compact, rugged, and standalone data acquisition. So the sampling maximum you can go for 100 kilo samples per channel, and it is programmable. So each module consists of a 32 channel, and you can do a daisy chain up to hundreds of channels and shock rated to the 500G. An in dummy dash solution for worldwide and hybrid three dummies. It meets the SAC standards and ISO standards and NHT, SA and FFA data acquisition requirements. It also support different type of sensors such as bridge, accelerometers, strain gauges, load cells and voltage and temperatures. So uh, the world sit dummy is the first regulation of ATD for the automotive safety testing designed with DTS dummy DAS. So embedding the data acquisition and sensor which makes you uh, improve the data fidelity and improve the uh, reduces the test setup time and eliminate the large styling cables. So uh, what are the crash sensors uh, DTS is offering for the crash applications? So this is the new model uh, which comes with A64C. It's a linear accelerometer, single axis, MEMS based, ruggedized, piezo resistive accelerometer. It's a similar size as end of course 7264 and TE64C. So it's a 500G accelerometer and the frequency response from DC to 5 kilohertz and shock rated to 10,000 G. It also complies with SAC standards and ISO standards and NSTSA and Euro NCAP. So what are the benefits for the A64C? So it has the better noise and drift, so uh, which has the active electronics that amplify the signal internally and compensate for the temperature changes. And it has the sensitivity stability. So with after the multiple shock events, and flat frequency response throughout the entire range. 
and DTS is also offering an angular rate sensor for the crash applications. So it's a, it's a ultra small, low mass and single axis. So it can uh, it measures 300 degrees per second to uh, 18 kilo degrees per second and shock rated to 10,000 G. This is especially for the high rate measurements for the angular velocity in dynamic environment and it complies with SAC standards and ASO standards and the ARS HG, so which can measure up to 50,000 degrees per second uh, for the vehicle crash applications and sled testing applications and the same sensor which is used for the test dummy and head form impacts. So DTS ARS 3 Pro, it's a triaxial sensor, so which can measure pitch, yaw and roll and it is shock rated up to 10,000 G and it's specially sealed for the PMHS testing. It's a post martian human surrogate. Uh, so this is to determine the response of a far side impact measurements and which has the maximum it can measure 50,000 degrees per second. It complies with SAC standards and ISO standards and new latest, uh, latest US government dynamic performance requirements. DTS is also offering a six dof sensor uh, for the crash applications, which consists of an internal triaxial accelerometer and triaxial angular rate sensor in a single aluminum enclosure and shock rated up to 20,000 G and specially designed for in dummy and PMHS testing. And the maximum it can measure 50,000 degrees per second and the maximum acceleration it can measure 20,000 G. It also complies with SAC standards and ISO standards. And this is uh, 6DXA2. Uh, this is specially designed for the Slice 6 DAS. So where you can directly mount the uh, sensor to the uh, Slice 6 DAS for the tight space constraints. So this, this sensor also has the triaxial accelerometer and triaxial angular rate sensor. So uh, it's a three numbers of uh, A64C for the triaxial accelerometer and it's shock rated up to 2000 G. And this is also used for the vehicle crash application and test dummies and head form impacts. Now uh, the MG sensors. So MG sensors that's from the German. So MG sensors are specialized in measuring force, torque and angular rate. So what are the products MG sensor is offering? So it's a dummy load cell and vehicle safety sensors and current pulse sensors and angular rate sensors and voltage measurement modules and temperature sensors for the crash testing applications. So dummy load cells. In crash test, different dummy types are used depend upon the crash type. So uh, MG sensor is offering a different uh, form of load cell so that it can cover the entire body. So such as tibia and anterior and superior iliac spine and lumbar spine and cervical spine and thoracic spine. So this is most common which is used in in dummy DAS such as Thor, Worldseed and Hybrid. So the MT sensors is offering a vehicle safety uh, sensors for the automotive industries. So such as seat belt sensors and belt displacement sensors and steering column load cells. So to measure the force at the seat belt during the automotive crash and measurement of force in the steering columns and measurement of the belt movement. So the current pulse sensor and temperature sensors. So MG sensor is offering a current pulse sensors with the different ranges such as 100 amps and 500 amps for the vehicle crash applications and the temperature sensors. So uh, MG sensor is offering a, a thermistor. Uh, it's a semiconductor type, type uh, thermistor, uh, thermistor uh, temperature sensors and it's uh, it's a similar size of Endoco 7264C and it's also available with the JNK type thermocouples voltage measurement modules for the crash applications. So MG sensor is offering a three different models such as one channel, three channel and 10 channel. So with the different ranges, one kilovolt and 70 volt and 100 volt to measure the high voltage during the crash testing. An angular rate sensor and acceleration sensor. So uh, it's a six degrees of uh, freedom sensors. MG sensor is offering a different range for that. It's a 8,000 degrees per second and find a G triaxial acceleration for the vehicle crash applications. About uh, Dytron instruments, so uh, it was formed by combining a uh, dynamic and transducers. So what uh, Dytron can offer uh, accelerometers, force sensors, pressure sensors, 
and signal conditioners for the dynamic and static testing. So for the accelerometer, uh, the Dytron offers for the TASH applications. It's a Dytron 7531 series and Dytron 7533 series. So 7531, it's a uniaxial and DC mount shape. So the G range is available for 2G to 200G. For the, the same 7533, it has the uh, triaxial and DC MIMS 200G. And the mass, it's a 6 gram. And the frequency response is from 0 to 1300. And what's unique uh, from the data? So it's a low mass, 6 grams, and which has the integral cable, which consumes low current. And it's isolated with aluminum enclosure. And it will withstand the 10,000 G and 5,000 uh, G vibration. And it's a simple and cost effective solution for the crash applications. So I've uh, ended my session. Uh, so the you can uh, register for the next webinar. Uh, that's for the calibration system for uh, noise, vibration and shock. It's on 25th, uh, 2021. It's on the Friday, next Friday. You can register yourself on the website, uh, our website, company website. Uh, and uh, it's open for the questions now.